What's up guys? Welcome back to my witchy world, which is... So I was super excited. I My hair is actually still wet. <laughs> I just got out of the shower, looked at my phone and saw that I had a notification that a package was delivered. So I got dressed really quick and went, and go, <laughs> went to go pick it up at my whatever Amazon locker, whatever it is. And here we are. So I am super, super, super excited. Uh, we have our second box of the month. It is the Witch's Moon. Yes, yes, yes. Normal sized box. All right, you guys. So before we get into this unboxing, I want to ask you all to please give this video a like for me. Make sure you leave some comments down below on if you received the box, what you liked and didn't like, and all that jazz. And, uh... Most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Woo! Um, so, other than that, let's get into this video. Hey guys, so as I always say, I'm not gonna hold the box up and show you what the inside of the box looks like, but. It always looks the same. There's always the paperwork on top, tissue paper, and then all the goodies on the inside. So this time we have this on top, brown tissue paper. So let's look at this card. Well, this is a really pretty card. So this is the back, Oracle card. And this is the front. I'm sure the paperwork will tell us uh, what deck this is from. But it says, St. John's Wort, Hyper, 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 the I don't know. But it says Stabilize. So, interesting. Stabilize. Mm, uh, not sure what it means, but I think the artwork's pretty. <laughs> All right, so we'll take the stuff off and take a look uh, at this paperwork. Ooh, interesting. So the theme is Witch of the Woods. Interesting. There is one, so they're all one-sided sheets. There is two pages of information and then we always get that last piece of parchment paper for whatever we need. The top part says nature plays a wonderful, bleh, 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 bleh. let's start over. Nature plays a wonderful role in the magic that we work with each day for every ritual. Relying on the natural energies from the earth and the gifts that she bears, we are able to make real and raw change happen within our environment and sacred spaces. If you hear whining, it's my dog. Sorry. <laughs> She's a little sadie poo at me right now. Um, where did I leave off? We are all truly blessed to be given the knowledge of herbal witchcraft from our ancestors that is commonly less accessible and holds within them the wonders of oh, occult yeah. powers. In this extreme exclusive collection, we work with these natural powers using tools that have been custom made for this very box. It is important to remember, or I'm sorry, it is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in the box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing ritual. We do not take this work lightly and strive to provide the highest magical, highest quality ritual items for you to use. Be sure to clear your space and cast your circle of protection before performing any type of ritual. The magical items in this box are as follows. So that little, that last little, it is important to always remember that your path is sacred paragraph that's on like every page it's always the same but I read it anyway just in case you didn't see any of the past videos and what have you so we're gonna put this aside because uh, I don't want to know what's in the box and we're just gonna dive right in Ooh, so first thing that we have on top wow we have a lot of well, I'll show you first thing we have on top is gift of Gaia so this looks like an incantation. Interesting. It's 
really pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, I like it. And then this is what I was talking about before. We have one, two, three, four, five. Look at this. There are five different pieces of artwork in here. Now, typically in the Witch's Moon, we get a big piece of artwork. These are the little ones, so, but there's five of them. So this is the first one. Okay, this is Wolfsbane. This next one is Mandrake, Mandrake Root. Okay, next is Foxglove. God, these are beautiful. So informational, I love this. Uh, Datura, D-A-T-U-R-A, Datura. Doot. And Belladonna. This one says, ooh, so there's a little section on all of these, almost all of these, yeah, no, all of them, that says caution, poison, do not handle or ingest. This one says caution, poison, do not ingest. And do not handle or ingest. Do not ingest or handle. Do not handle. Interesting. Okay, so wait a minute. I, did I show you Belladonna? I'm just going to show it to you again, just in case. Beautiful. My gosh. I don't... I don't know if these are included in the box or not, but that's awesome. Like, I, these are like, I'm obsessed with the artworks from here because I think they're so informational. And then you can like, I don't know, like leave one out and like kind of study it for a little bit so that you learn about it. I just think that's really, really cool, the artwork. So I like it. I like it. I like it. So diving into the products here, we have quite a bit of herbs here. So, so we have snake bite. I don't think I, I mentioned snake bite in one of these, unless it's like a, another name for it. I'm not sure, but snake bite. Boop. Okay, so that's one. Um, just in case these are, yeah, so here's mandrake root goes with this artwork here. I am not going to open any of them because I, it says don't handle. <laughs> so we're not going to handle it. That's mandrake root. And then we have skull cap, which again, I don't, I don't think was one that was mentioned unless it's like, like an alternative name or something like that. Not sure. Okay. So moving on. Oh, okay. So we are, we have the great, the great giver, sacred salt. It is in a little pouch again, instead of the jar. Now this I will open and, and smell. It's packed to the brim. I think I just spit on myself. <laughs> it's packed to the brim. So Mmm, that smells good. That smells really good. Mmm, so good. I love these little, I love these salts. I just think they're, I, I just think they're so awesome. I love it. I love everything in this box, so I don't really even know what I'm talking about, but. <laughs> All right, we have bubble wrap next. That had such a, like a lingering smell to it. Interesting. It's definitely not something I've smelled before. Like it smells familiar, but like it's, I don't know. I don't know, it's hard to explain. All right, so this is our oil here. This is Nurture Magical Anointing Oil. There is so many beautiful little herbs in here. Let me show you. So pretty. Mm. 
Beautiful. Very pretty. Let's smell it. Hmm. So this kind of smells like um, uh, br the the Bridget's flame. So the 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 I don't know if it was the witch's moon or if it was something different. I think it was the witch's moon's last month, where it was Bridget's flame was the theme. There was a spray in it, like an aura spray that was Bridget's flame. This oil actually smells very similar to that. It looks like there's like lavender in here and some sort of other flower. But it smells very, very similar to Bridget's Flame, uh, the Aura Spray. Which is good because I actually love that one. All right, so next we have, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it looks like a... It's like a little stand. It almost looks like it almost looks like a, a stand you would like rest a book in to read. You know what I mean? Like they have those at the like the the like the museum type things. I don't know. Interesting. Um, but that's really pretty. I like that. Just showing off the the carvings here. It's really, really beautiful. Very pretty. Okay. And it's like you can kind of this is one. And then if you bring it down, you can adjust. So it's adjustable. You can have it like this, or you can bring it down and have it like that. Interesting. Very cool. I'm not sure what that is, but I like it. Um, we have, I am going to assume this is our candle. Got it. So it is a large, it's showing up blue green on here on the camera but it's actually a it's more of like a forest green yeah it's definitely not showing up the correct color it's more of like a brighter it's more of like a true green rather than like a blue green it's nice though hmm. doesn't really have too much of a smell i think it just smells like the beeswax we have two items left and the last one looks interesting. So this is Amidst the Fog uh, Ritual Incense in a little baggie. Okay. We're going to open it and see what it smells like. Pull one out. I'm not going to light one this time. Hmm. Smells good. It smells very floral rich. It's definitely got that, that bathroom smell I always talk about. But it always, it does always smell different when you light it. I just feel like every time I light it, I'm like, I don't know, I'm like wasting it. I'm <laughs> like wasting it and it's all precious, very precious to me. But there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sticks in here. And that is Amidst the Fog Ritual Incense. All right, you guys, so that leaves us with one more item. All right, so it's it's wrapped in, in beautiful paper here. I'm not gonna lie, it feels like a book. And uh, you guys know that I am a true book nerd. <laughs> I love books, so if it's a book, I'm gonna be very, very, very excited. Um, this is wrapped so pretty in this brown paper. I'm like trying not to like destroy it. Uh, all right, so we got the tape off for the most part. There we go. We are unwrapping, getting rid of this. I still haven't seen it. What is it? Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Look at the lining on it. The gold lining. Wow. May the gift of Gaia bring 
true strength and potency to your craft. Blessed be, blessed be the witch's moon. It's actually signed, like, there's a message in there from them. That's so crazy. That's amazing. Encyclopedia. Yeah, this is, uh, this must be like some sort of like, I don't know, special edition that they were able to put their own logo and stuff like that introductory page. Wow, this is, I'm just looking at like the table of contacts, contacts, no, contents, and it's got, I'll just show you, everything it says in there, beautiful, wow, this is, this is, like, I don't, I'm like speechless. I don't even know what to say. And you know what's even cooler? <laughs> oh, it's the little details that get me. Hold on, let me show you. There is almost like a cookbook type deal, which is so fitting. Look at this. There's a little ribbon for a bookmark. How cute is that? <laughs> that is such a cute little detail now it was on elder american sam sam buccus canadensis it's a it says it's a ripe fruit this is so it gives you everything folk names gender planet element deities powers ritual uses it even gives like minor, like before uh, felling an elder, the following formula, formula was recited, like magical uses. This is crazy. There's so much. This is, this is, oh my gosh. Tells you how to read the entries, which is good because there were some things in there that I didn't understand what it was. It even tells you which ones are like poisonous and I mean just wow. This, this is so, I mean, can you guys see the amount of information in this? I'm like, I'm in awe right now. I mean, I know it's a book, but I think I say this every time I get a book, but I'm in awe of this book. Like, the amount of detail that's in it. Wait, where's that stand? This must be for like, if you're trying to like, like, um, cook in the kitchen. Hold on. Yeah. Look at this. I, I, it's so hard, but like the little stand, this is what I was talking about. Or you have a book that's open like this. Tell me that's not like, <laughs> Tell me that's not what you expect to see in a witch's kitchen. I'll hold for anyone that disagrees. <laughs> no, but seriously though, like, I don't know, you always grow up like watching these uh, like shows and things that have like, um, for example, Hocus Pocus. <laughs> they have like the stand that holds their book with the eyeball. I don't know, that's just kind of like, it, it doesn't look like this, but this is what it kind of reminds me of, where it's like kept open. I just think this is so crazy, and I love how the pages are actually staying open, so that, and then you have the, the little string that can like keep your place in case it does, like, this is so cute, I love this, oh my gosh, 
This is crazy cool. Wow. This is crazy. I love this. Ah, I love it so much. This is so cute. All right. So that is it for, that is it for our box, you guys. Um, so I am going to real quick read the paperwork and then I'll be, I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So, wow. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this month is coming in super strong with these boxes. I, I think the last box that I did was Sacred Space Crate and the announcement that they gave at the end of that, which if you haven't seen the video, go check that out next. I will probably leave a link somewhere at the end of this video for it. Uh, it, it, it was a very intense announcement. Not intense in a bad way, but like, it was, it was pretty interesting. It was really good. Now, with this, <laughs> it's not the same thing, but it is still intense. The, so the encyclopedia the, of Magical Herbs by um, Cunningham is, Scott Cunningham to be exact, is exclusive for the Witch's Moon, obviously, because they had the branding in there. But they actually went as far as to contact the family and and whoever else was close to Scott Cunningham to ask for permission to create it into a hardcover book and put like their their little message on the front. I'm just like it's it's so it's crazy. I mean that's so awesome. Uh, it does it does say that he passed from his life on March 28th of 1993. I have to tell you, Scott Cunningham, I, I, I've read a lot of his books. They're very, very informational and good if you are interested in reading more about Wicca. Specifically, instead of just a general witchcraft knowledge, Wicca specifically, he has tons of books and they're very, very, very good. Um, so that in itself, that, oh my gosh, that, the, the book just pulls on my heartstrings a little bit. The stand is a hand-carved book stand meant for the book, your working station, your altar, your kitchen, wherever you need to use it. The, uh, five artwork pages are all, they're, they purposefully did it so that they were all poisonous, uh, herbs. And it was, as always, the, the artwork is by A.E. Alden. They are not available for purchase on the moon market. Let's see. Snake bite herb is good for, um, holds the magical powers to heal, strengthen, protect, and repel snakes. These snakes may come in any, may come in any form, basically, beside, like, other than... The snakes you find in nature. Mm. So if anybody has any snakes in their life, might be a good one to have. Uh, mandrake root, a whole, let's see, placed on a mantle in the home will give the house protection, fertility, and prosperity. Thank you. <laughs> and skull cap is used in spells of relaxation and peace. A woman who wears skull cap protects her husband against the charms of other women. Ooh. <laughs> the hand rolled candle, hand rolled and anointed gift of Gaia uh, spell candle with spell incantation artwork. Um, I'm not going to read everything that they have. There's a lot here. I mean, I did read it. I'm just not going to read it out loud to you because I'll scan over the pages. Um, the nurture magical anointing oil. The Great Giver Sacred Salt, Amidst the Fog Ritual Incense Sticks, Personalized Oracle Reading. That card was from the Hedge Witch Botanical Oracle Deck by Silo Thompson. I'm so sorry if I said that name incorrect, but it's S-I-O-L-O -O Thompson. And then, of course, the Parchment Paper. At the bottom, it says, as you perform your rituals, do not set expectations, cast your intentions, and be pure of heart and mind. 
these very personal moments are for you. There is so much knowledge, knowledge available to you. Please er, take pleasure in knowing that you are in control of your future and the blessings that it holds. Open yourself up to receive these beautiful gifts. May the gift of Gaia bring strength and potency to your craft. Blessed be the witch's moon. Uh, yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited about everything that came in this box. And I have nothing bad to say. I'm like staring at all of it down here. This was a, this was a really fantastic little little box here. I, <laughs> I have no comments. I am speechless. Usually I can find something that I, that I want to say, but I really, I really don't. I don't have anything to say. This was great. And, uh, as always, I will leave a link in the description box below to the site, the Witch's Moon website, so that you can check it out and get your own box for yourself. It's a pretty good one, you guys. If you haven't seen my Battle of the Boxes videos where I kind of compare all of the different witchy subscription boxes, you can check that out. I'll also leave them with... Uh, linked somewhere on the end screen and that way you can check that out and see which one is right for you I do that once a month at the end of every month um I didn't do it for January because I haven't received two of the January boxes so I'm st I, I might wind up skipping it all together if I don't receive the boxes because I feel like that's not fair but I'm going to give it till probably like mid February to receive the two boxes that are, that never came. And if I don't receive it, then, um, we'll, we'll probably just skip January's battle of the boxes, but I will leave those videos linked. Other than that, I think that's it for this video. Make sure you like comment and please subscribe. It helps me out so, so much. If you made it through the entire video, thank you for sticking around. Here's a test. You ready? Anybody who made it to this point in the video, leave me some purple heart emojis in the description box or in the comments below and uh, show me some love. Love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, make sure to follow me on social media. I will put it right here on the screen. I'll also leave the links down in this description box below. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat now. Um, I won't be too active on Snapchat until more people are following me on there just because I, I don't want to talk to myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, so check me out. Follow me on all of there. I tend to announce videos and things like that and take polls on what you guys want to see for the next video. So uh, leave me some comments down below if you have an idea of what you want to see next other than an unboxing. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!